Well, hello there, friends. Beautiful soup today. A cauliflower and cheddar cheese. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned. We're going to make this soup together. It's amazing. Well, hello there, friends. To continue our soup collection, today I am making a cauliflower and cheddar soup. Oh, trust me. I don't care if you don't like cauliflower. You're going to like that soup. It really is amazing. And I put cheddar cheese. I got this beautiful English cheddar. And we can get the English boy. They know how to make cheddar cheese, I tell you. Now I'm going to hear from the rest of the world. They're going to say, oh, we know how to make cheddar cheese. I'm sure there's great cheddar cheese everywhere. America makes fabulous cheddar cheese. But I like the English cheddar cheese. Anyway, friends, cauliflower. Very simple. I got, um, you know, you know when I make a, this soup, by the way, it's going to be like a creamy soup, like a, uh, uh, bisque, like, uh, what's the difference between a bisque and a soup? Everybody's always asking. Usually a bisque is like a soup or a sauce that is uh, emulsified, very, very smooth texture and cream to it. And that's the difference between a soup and a, and a bisque. And a bisque. So, anyway, uh, in a simple explanation now, okay? <laughs> um, so, we got the mirepoix, we got onion, carrots, celery, cauliflowers. I got three heads of cauliflower. Um, I got potatoes. The potatoes, it's going to give us the thickness. I got Yukon gold potatoes. Everything is roughly cut. I mean, not, not roughly, but not too small, right? Cheddar cheese. I got about eight ounces of cheddar cheese. I got uh, 14 garlic cloves. <laughs> I don't count them, okay? I got some heavy cream that we're going to use at the end. All right, so let's keep going. First. So, onion is, uh, is uh, slightly caramelized, not, not dark. I, I started already with the onion because normally I got to say I got to do the onion and I got to wait. Make sure whatever you do, no onion, carrots, and celery at the same time, okay? Onion by themselves so they can somewhat caramelize a little bit. We're not looking to get them golden brown for this recipe. Otherwise, uh, you know, it changed the color of the soup, right? The integrity of this soup is going to be white, and I don't want it to change it, right? So, but they're nice. You know, they're really, they they uh, lightly caramelized, if you will. Okay, then we're going to put the garlic. Put it in here. Here you go. Yeah, put it all in there. Uh, you know, when garlic, friends, when garlic is poached, which is what that's going to happen here, uh, and then we're going to do the immersion blender, and we're going to puree all this to a smooth texture, smooth. And, and, and when the garlic is poached like this, very smooth. You know what? I just realized I forgot the time. I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking. Huh? Thank goodness. Because <laughs> I'm looking and I go, oh, hold on a minute. Where's my time? And I, I got fresh time over there. I'm going to put it in now so I don't forget. Because, you know, you probably know what I said. For those of you that follow my channel, I often forget things. See, like right there. I just put it. it was, I should have looked at the recipe before. You know? All right. So, look. We don't saute the garlic until it's golden brown. We saute the garlic until we smell it. And when it's fragrant, bam, we're done. Let's put some moisture on it. So carrots, just chop carrots. All right, just uh, chop carrots. Doesn't really matter how small they are or big they are because it's all going to get pureed. Uh, um, celery, same deal, right? Same deal, celery, bam, bam. Potatoes. I use Yukon Gold potatoes because they make a nice creamy texture, and that's going to be the texture of our potatoes. So they're very important, friends. All right, very important potatoes. You can't get Yukon Gold. Get a good baking potatoes. You know what? I'm very afraid of it. <laughs> very afraid, and that pot's going to be too small. Oh well. Huh. Guess what? It's not too small. It's just kind of like a little small, but it's going to be okay because all the vegetables are going to. Um, uh, uh, to shrink a little bit. Of course, they're going to shrink. So look, friends, I wanted to show you. Right here, let me get a spoon. Let me get a spoon. You know, I like my soup to have a texture. Well, even when I have a creamy soup, I want some bites, some texture to it. Sometimes I put croutons, sometimes I put pasta in it, sometimes I put rice, sometimes I put corn. I love sauteed corn and, and, and onion, and, and they give me a texture. So I have a cr creamy soup but I got a texture, right? So what I do in this soup, I take a cauliflower florets, the little floret, right? And I cook them in milk. You can cook them in chicken stock. Oh, yeah, chicken stock, you can cook them, right? And then we're gonna put this after, when the soup is cooked, we're done, the soup is cooked. We're gonna put them at the end as a texture, 
kind of like a decoration, if you will, or more of a texture. So it's really, really important, right? So, oh, how, how do we get them? The texture. You know what I do is I take a paring knife, and uh, and what I do, friends, is I, I I cut them right, and I go in like this. You see, I go in, and I get my florette. You see, you get what I get with a paring knife. You get a little florette. And uh, because you don't want to cut them, because if you cut them, then you don't really get a florette. You see? You want to get a little florette. Fl that's what it's called, florette. I think that's what it's called anyway. <laughs> when you get those little pieces in there like this. You see? All right, friends. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put stock. Now, for those of you that are vegetarian, God bless you. Uh, you want to put... Uh, chicken, uh, vegetable stock. <laughs> you want to put chicken stock. You want to put vegetable stock. How much stock do you put in? Well, I'm in my fourth cup right now with three heads of cauliflower. You want to cover the pot, right? And, uh, and uh, four or five, I don't know how many that was right there, but it doesn't really matter because look, all I want to do right now is put enough to cover my vegetables. And now those vegetables are not exactly covered, but you know what? I can always add more, and I may add more, because what's going to happen is all of those vegetables are going to release an incredible amount of water, and I can always add more stock. I cannot take it out. If I put too much stock, what's going to happen, friends, is when I puree it, it's going to be too liquid. So if I puree it and it's too thick, which it could happen, because I barely have enough stock right there, if I puree, see, basically that's what you want to do. You want to cover all your vegetables. If you put too much, when you puree, it's going to be too liquid. So we're going to do it together because I'm going to let this cook for an hour and a half, two hours, whatever it's going to take, right? And, and um, after it's cooked, we're going to puree. And if it's too thick, what do we do? We put a little cream. And if it's not enough, we put a little more stock. So we can adjust. I'd rather start too thick than too thin. If it's too thin, you got to bring it up with some cornstarch, arrowroot, tapioca powder, some kind of a thickener. So I'd rather be too thick than too thin. We're going to let this cook gently. And then at the end, we'll put the cream, the cheese, and we'll put a florette. And we're going to eat it. It's going to be delicious. Quick, easy soup, my friends. By the way, for those of you that like broccoli instead of cauliflower, do the same thing with broccoli. Same exact soup. Just change the cauliflower to broccoli, and it'll be delicious. You can also do broccoli and cauliflower, all right? So we're going to let that cook for an hour and a half, and we'll be back. I'm excited because I love soups. Well, hello there, friends. One and a half hour later, you'll check it, you'll see. Check the carrots. The carrots are going to be the last one that cooks, my friends. All right, the potatoes are like soft as could be, see? Whoop, spot, uh, uh, cauliflower, of course, is going to be very soft. So now, we've got to put the cheese, and, uh, and, and, and we'll make the plate, look. I'm gonna put this, uh, this immersion blender in there. And uh, you know, normally I got the big one. <laughs> but today I'm taking the little one. And we're gonna see what happened here. We're gonna puree everything. Maybe the big one would have been better because this is taking forever. <laughs> I should have bring in the big boat. Because this is gonna take like mamma me forever. So, what are we gonna add to this, friends? We're gonna add a little bit of cheddar cheese. We can do this. We're gonna add the cheese, little bit of cheddar cheese while I'm putting the whole bowl. <laughs> it's only, it was only like uh, six ounces or eight ounces. I forgot what I put in there, but um, six, eight ounces. Okay, and then we're also gonna put, friends, a little bit of cream. Okay, the cream is really, really important. I got a cup in there so far, or just about a cup, and. Um, not sure if it's gonna be enough. No. So you know what? We're gonna put more. How much is enough? That's really up to you, my friends. It looks good to me right now. I'm glad I kept going with a mixer the whole time. You know what? Let's do it. So that was two cups. Three heads of cauliflower, two cups of cream, and however much stock I put in at the beginning, remember, it was just to cover the vegetables. I don't know how much it was, but we will figure this out. Look, it's starting to look beautiful, my friend. Isn't it going to be beautiful? I think it's making so much noise over there. I had some chicken stock ready in case I need it. But look, I don't need it. This is looking beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. 
<laughs> Somebody said, he always said, look at this. Okay, friends, I know this is, uh, I know this is not a part of the recipe because I didn't tell you that, but I like a little blue cheese. You don't like it, just don't put it in. I got this beautiful Stilton, okay, and uh, I'm going to put a little bit in there, and that's really because uh, I love blue cheese, okay? You can put goat cheese in there. You can skip it. Don't worry. Nobody's going to complain. They don't know it's in there anyway, right? So now, that's it, my friends. That is it. Very simple. Let me finish this. Keep it in there as long as you can. You really want to make it as smooth as you possibly can, my friends. Okay? So, this is it. Let's make a plate. Let's make a plate. Like I say, put as much or as little cheese as you want. We got to test it. We got to test it, my friends. Where are my spoons? Oh, here they are. <laughs> we got to test it. It's going to be hot, boy. Take it easy, Jean-Pierre. Mmm. Oh, wow. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, have you ever seen anybody on YouTube testing their food and go, oh, this is really bad. Actually, this needs more salt. So, here it is. I got more salt. We're going to adjust it. And you know what I did at the last minute, friends? I grated some more carrots because I like it. I think the carrots are going to give a beautiful color. You see? So I put a little bit of carrots in there. And you know what I like also? is a little bit of parsley. I, you know, I love parsley. At the end, don't have to put it in if you don't want to. Don't worry. It's still going to be delicious, my friends. All right, we're going to mix this up really good. Put as much or as little carrots or, or parsley as you want. You don't want to put it in here. Don't worry. But you know, it's got to look good to taste good, my friends. We're now going to take a little bit of that soup. And we're going to put it in here. And remember, we saved those cauliflower florets. So we go right in there in that soup. Really simple. Right? Look at this. Oh, yeah. This is going to be delicious, my friend. And then what I do is I take... Uh, one of the big floret like this, right? Maybe I put a, a big, big, big one in the middle. And then I put a few of them all the way around it. All the way around it. This is going to give us the texture. So we could do this with cauliflower. We could do it with corn, sauteed with onion. Put a little bit of parsley in each one of them to make it look cute. Soup doesn't have to be just a bowl of, uh, of soup. It can be pretty. All right, my friends. This is it. I hope you make it. This is a, a series of making all our soup, cauliflower, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and what else did I put in there? All of the stuff I put in there. Cauliflower and cheddar cheese, a, a bisque. I hope you enjoy making it. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell. I hope you make this recipe, it's fabulous.